For this build, I bought some milled up lumber from my big box store. As you can see some alder and some maple. There's some advantages to doing that. You don't have to sand quite as much. and I don't have a joiner or a planer, so I don't have to worry about that either. Of course, the wood is a little bit more expensive this way, and I'm not so sure the quality is necessarily as good as if you buy it rough and from a different dealer. But that's the way I went about doing it for this project. So as you can see, I put a 10 degree angle on the front and backs. And then the way this is designed, there's a little notch here on both that front and back. And the side pieces, I have to put another notch in and they kind of interlock that way. I saw this box, an image of it, online and apparently this was a Viking style of building boxes. And so I thought it looked cool. Creating these notches can be done in a number of different ways. A bandsaw would be a good way to do this as well. And here I am putting a groove in the bottom of the front and back panels and then putting a rabbit in the bottom panel. I put this design on the front by putting some spray adhesive on the paper and then putting it down. And I used a V gouge to carve out the design. I realized later that, that I was getting some tear out after I took off the paper and I ended, have, ended up having to go back and use my chip carving knife to clean it up some. I actually made two of these boxes and on the second one I just used my chip carving knife then and avoided the tear out. I put together the box without any glue here and I was toying with the idea of not utilizing any glue. I ended up putting glue on the pegs that hold it together. I just didn't want those pegs falling out later with changes in humidity. So you can see how those pieces interlock here. So I drilled some holes for the dowels. I think I used 5 16 inch dowels here. Just put a little bit of glue on there, it's all you need. I need a sturdier table, as you can see. And because of the design of this, I put another peg on the ends so you can see those pegs are opposing each other. They're in two different directions, which helps makes, them, makes it strong. These are some wood hinges that I made from ash. I have a, another video showing that. I'll leave a link of, in the description below. And I put some super glue on them and held them in place. This was just a temporary hold just so that I could bring it over to my drill press and then put some more dowels in and glue those in. Then I sanded everything, put on some handles and a little uh, catch on the front and then finished it all up. really like the look of those wood hinges. And I'm going to give one of these away for a silent auction at work to raise money for cancer. And the other one I'm going to keep. 
Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.